What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about testosterone. Problems with testosterone, how to correct it. I myself have the same issue. I'm sure many of you do as well. Let's get to it. Let's get this. I'm on the score, like the back of my hand. Them with the boys, I don't give a damn. Kiss on the ring, I carry the crown. Nothing could break, nothing could break me down. Don't need no advice, I got a plan. All right, guys, low testosterone, low T. You heard the term? I'm going to tell you right now, it's a bitch. So first of all, have you been moody, losing hair, losing energy, lack of, let's say, stimulation, uh, impotency on some people's parts? Guys, there is a ton of, of symptoms from low T, low testosterone. And it's just going to get worse as we get older. Typically, our testosterone is what builds our muscles, gets us motivated, gets us energy, gets our focus. It does a lot when we're growing up because that's when we needed it. We needed it through our youth to, to take in so much of this information and to grow and to be stronger. It built, it built the basis for our, of what we are today. Well, once we hit about 28 years old, our low testosterone starts to deplete. We start to make less of it. And by the time you've hit mid 30s and then now going into our early 40s, it is extremely low for a high population of the men, not everybody. So what I'm talking about with these symptoms is it's not necessarily low testosterone, low T. But the first thing we have to do, the first thing guys, and I'm gonna come at you with reality, and I haven't seen this, is we've gotta get it tested to eliminate that possibility. Now I came across what we call the My Lab Box. It's a great, online service that will ship you the box itself filled with everything you need and we're going to do that here today so as you can see right here oh shit hold on see right here so my lab box is one of the the premier online sections as far as being able to test stds your sperm count testosterone I mean, uh, you know, anything, herpes checks, you can do this all online as far as get them, ship it to you, do an in-house inspection, do an in-house testing procedure, and then mail it back and get your results within five days. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this, and I've never done one of these in-home testosterone kits, and we're going to do this together just to show you how easy it is or how complicated it is. Let's just find out because, again, I've never done this before. So step one order it now here's something else guys if you have an FSA account and the nice benefit about being in our 40s is we have a, uh, we have a career at this point in time we should so flexible spending account guess what this is covered by your FSA all I had to do put the FSA in card in just like it was a regular credit card and it build my flexible spending account so it didn't even come out of your bank it come out of what is your pre-tax dollars already all right guys so Let's take a look at this my lab box that came in. Haven't really got a chance to take a look at this. First thing we're gonna do, let's put this off to the side. So we got a my lab box. You got that right. Nice move. We got to do the first step here. Okay. So this one here is gonna be our laboratory requisition forms that you've got to fill out and have sent in with it. All right. So we're gonna put that off to the side. Comes with our specimen bag that we're gonna ship off once we're done with taking our specimen. And then it comes with our kit itself, along with our collection date and date of birth that you've got attached to it as well. Everything we need for our collection to send off for our testosterone test. So with that said, let's get to it. First things first, let's crack this thing open. What's inside? specimen bag here's our card of our directions themselves that we'll go through let's go ahead and place everything out here as we need it this is going to be what's going to prick our finger this is a blood test guys gauze for afterwards that's a big old gauze oh lord i don't know how much blood we're going to take out of this bad boy all right adhesive bandage 
alcohol swabs. Another spot check for it. And please review blood collection instructions at molecular. So this is where, I don't know, we'll do something with that here in a bit. And again, another pin prick right there. Okay, guys, so according to the directions, here's the steps that you've got to do. First things first, this is going to be your collection card. Uh, you're going to see that this is what we're going to have to fill up with our droplets of blood. First, do not touch the face of this card or the back of this card at all, okay? So we're going to put that to the side. Now, what we do have to do with this card first and foremost, though, is we need to go ahead and fill out our information. Name, date of birth, and date of collection. We do that first. Second step, we need to go in and wash our hands thoroughly, okay? Wash them let them dry and then we're going to go into step three now step three step three is going to be coming in with our alcoholic swabs get our alcoholic swabs out and you, what you're going to do is we're going to end up pricking our index finger here okay and it's talking about kind of doing it at the side of your finger itself so let's get that nice and clean and then let's dry just a little bit. While it's doing that, we're gonna grab our actual pincher here, one that's gonna protrude through to make the, uh, the pinch, and it, we're gonna twist the top right on off of there, okay? That top comes right on off. Then now my finger is dry. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Ah! And as you can see, we've got our blood. There we go. Now it does say that hold your finger below your heart to help get that blood flowing. And as you can see, it definitely helps get that blood flowing. Let me go ahead and wipe some of this off here. Get a little messy on me. And guys, to be honest with you, this is not painful whatsoever. It was one little prick, not too bad. It sure beats, to be honest with you guys, going into the doctor and getting this done. And yeah, I do go in to get it done, but during this COVID, they weren't accepting a lot of doctor's appointments. So we had to kind of go in here and do what we could. And this is what I decided, let's do a home test this time. Now I am on testosterone as we speak now. And I'm going to go over some of the, the issues that I've personally had as far as low testosterone okay now the next step after you've gotten all of these filled is it tells you to go to the back and make sure that there is enough blood that it went all the way through which it did as you see there now I'm going to take my finger put it above my heart just to make sure that the blood flow does slow down take this bandage that is with the kit and put it right over that spot with that said, our next step, guys, is to take this tab and fold it right on over. That is our testing card, as they show right here. And what we're going to do, into our specimen bag, we're going to go ahead, put this into our specimen bag as well. We'll say this, so it tells you to tear the line, but in the directions it says seal the bag, so whoops. However... We are still going to push all this air out of there, and we're going to seal this bag, all right? And this is how we're going to seal it. And you know how we're about to seal this bag. It's a nice little seal. i tell you what. Overcome and adapt. Overcome, improvise, and adapt. That's what we do. You know, I'm going to blame that whole uh, instruction losing concentration thing. On low testosterone all right guys with that said though I've got it sealed trust me it is sealed what we're gonna do now we're gonna put it in the supplied bag that is to come uh, our shipping bag matter of fact what I'm gonna do with that I am going to take a picture of that tracking number as well just so I can make sure. If 
follow it in case we lose it. With that said, guys, I'm going to go in here and seal the bag. And that's that. Let's go mail this thing off. Just in time, there's no catch in the mail person. See if we can't get these results mailed off. What do you say? How you doing, buddy? Hey, how are you? Did you already pick that one up? Uh, to mail off? Mail okay. Mail yeah. Awesome. All right, thanks, sir. Never on Saturday. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. All right, guys. So we got the uh, got that mailed off and see our results like I said the results they say about five days and it'll come online so you can print them out from online you don't have to wait anything in the mail so <sighs> let's get moving so let's talk about low testosterone you know typically even with the older guys you know 50s 60s and 70s uh, if you haven't seen it yet some of them will start uh, getting really emotional with commercials you know commercials with kids and they'll start crying to, e to movies really easy you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of here. That's just our body. What happens is our bodies produce testosterone and estrogen. In guys' bodies, we produce a lot more testosterone than we do estrogen. So with that said, though, there's a balance. Well, when we start to change that balance and we lose the testosterone, well, guess what we continue to make? Estrogen. And estrogen is kind of one of the ones that helps depict some of our moods. And, you know, I feel bad because the women, they make more estrogen. And we talk about their mood swings, but it's not their fault as far as their, their mental way. To, it's just the way their body works. So you're going to see, guys, karma's a bitch. We start to do the same thing, and it's... You know, that's one reason why we need to keep that, uh, estri or that estrogen levels and those testosterone levels a little bit better balanced because, no no offense, but I don't want to be a moody bitch. You know what I mean? So let's talk about this in the green room for a bit. Let's get the results. Let's see what happens. See if we got to change some stuff up. All right, guys. Peace out. I'm on the score. Like the back of my hand. Them with the boys. I don't give a damn. On the ring